Hello everybody, this is Dreaming about back for another episode of Primal Carnage Extinction and well, it's, it's a kind of different Primal Carnage episode today because I am going to go through how the painting colorizer tool thingy ma bobba dee -doo -dee works because people seem to be a little bit confused with how it works and all that so that is why we are in the customization and I'm going to use Aurora Spino as an example. So hopefully by the end of this session, you will get a much clearer understanding on, on how this whole paint mechanic thing works and you will be more sure on whether you want to try it out for yourself. So I did actually get the uh, paint mixer tool. So yeah, and yeah, I did actually get a paint bucket as a drop the other day. So that was awesome. So first things first, unfortunately, or fortunately, whichever way you look at it, the only way you can get this is to buy it and you need this. If you don't have this, you cannot craft. You have to have this, and it is a one-time use. It sucks, but it is what it is. Like, as for all these paint cans, they're, they're free drops in the game. You don't have to buy them, which I find, which is really good. So we'll go back to our Spino. So let's say I want to change. Say I want to change the paint. I want a bit of cream to end that. I don't really like that, to be honest. <laughs> I don't really like this paint bucket, to be honest, but I'm just using it as an example. So we can turn it down a bit and it doesn't do anything. So we could try, let's try putting it by here and see what happens. Okay, so it does make a slight difference. No, it's not too bad actually. So yeah, each layer is slightly different, which is cool. Okay, that one might be the same. As for paint layer four, oh, it does, just changes the brightness. And yes, the good thing about this is that you can actually try out the paint cans you don't own. Oh, that's quite nice. I like that. Oh, wow. Very vibrant. <laughs> so, yeah, that's really good. So, just to make sure you know what to buy. That's a very good. That's very good. I like that. And, yes, you can also change the eye color, which on this skin changes some part of the skin color as well, as you can see on the sail. So, you can look at the eye color there. And we can change the intensity. So, I'll say 56. And we shall lower it to... Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, I like that. Just don't like the eye color being red. Because <laughs> red makes you dead. So yeah, you're going to have a real play around with this. And Aurora Spine is a pretty good one to use. Let's have it by here. Okay, that's quite nice. I actually like that. Let's say I wanted to put some red in. And then a bit of gold. What am I making? And then a bit of this. And a bit of blue. Why not? So, I have my paint ready. And I have my paint mixer tool. Obviously, I can't save it because I don't own any of these. So I can... So yeah, <laughs> I have to I have to get what, these guys. Save, and you should get your own personalized skin. And that is basically that. So yeah, just to recap, you need this. This you If you don't have this, you can't craft. So yeah, you get a personal colorized skin. You can't trade it. You can't sell it. So no making big bucks. It's not exploitable, unfortunately. <laughs> the devs are cunning, aren't they? Okay, let's try it on Fallen Tuba. So let's use Fallen Tuba. And Fallen Tuba is very crazy. Because look at that. Look at all the colours. I could turn him into a green one. I actually really like that. I might, I'm not going to lie. I might actually get this. I am actually craft this. Because that, so, that looks so cool. It's basically radiated Tuba. And I love it. And I could add some green. So we could have some green there. It does have a little bit of texture glitches. Because this is not This is far from perfect. Or I could add, or I could add a little bit. Splash a bit of purple in it. So yeah, this is, you could really play around with this. Like you just got to play around and find a skin that works for you. See, sometimes it just doesn't make a difference, and then some t on some skins it does. So I will sh quickly show an example of where paints actually do make a difference. I think it's the Dragon Sword. So you can see here, like, it completely changes. Wow, that's, that's a beaut. It's a blue dragon. It's a, it's a blue eyes white dragon. <laughs> yeah, the Dragon Strat was a good one to play around with. You can make some crazy skins with this thing. So, yep, there's a purple example. Oh, wow. That is fascinating. So, yeah, the Dragon Strat is a very good is a very good example of what you can do with crazy colouring. Oh, oh, honestly, I could sit here for hours. You could sit here for hours and play around with this. You really could. It's, I, I'm obviously not going to. Okay, that is epic. Okay, I've actually decided I'm gonna get this tuba. Because this tuba actually looks like it took like a 10 minutes to go for it, but I'm gonna get this tuba as an example. So I have my paint buckets equipped. You don't have to equip all of them. I've changed the eye colour so it's green. And we click on save. So yes, a paint bucket is a one-time use. I forgot to mention that. The paint mixer tool is a one-time use, so if I want to do this again, I have to buy the paint mixer tool again. But I probably won't be doing. 
many of these. So, there we go. Ba -ba -da -da! The colorized fallen Tupa. So yes, you do lose the original skin. So unfortunately, we no longer have original fallen Tupa skin, but we can always get it as a, it's a stamp skin. I don't think we can get it at this moment in time. We can always get it another time. And yeah, if you try to do cus customize it again, it doesn't work. Actually, an example of that is the mutant Tupa. The mutant Tupa doesn't actually work. And yeah, that is basically it. So I hope you enjoyed. And I actually can't wait to try this thing out in game. And until next time, this is Train Gamer signing out.